Hello, this video is going to show you an in-depth look at Edform. To get started, you're going to head on over to edform.com. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If you've never been here before or did not sign up for an account yet, you can sign up for free. I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to continue with my Google login. And it lands me on my Edform library page. And so these are all the Edforms I've created at this Point. If you've never used Edform before or curious what Edform is, Edform is a way you can make learning more interactive by taking those PDF and those worksheets and things that you already have created and adding auto-graded activities. Let's go back to my library. Before we get started with creating our own Edform assignments, I'm going to show you that you can come to this Discover area and search for already created Edforms. I'm going to search for anything with a world map and I want it to be in relation to social studies and I also want it to be at a sixth grade level. So as you can see I already have a world map which would be perfect. My students could take this assignment and label the continents and the oceans which is awesome. And then you have other things related to sixth grade social studies and from the world. Let's say I want this world map. I can go ahead and select it, click on it, and I can assign it already as is, or I can even do this as a teacher-led lesson. And as you can see, this is a drag and drop, so they're gonna have to drag and drop their continents and oceans. You also get the opportunity to preview as a student. You can even look and see the answers. The other thing I do have the option to do from the Discover area is to copy and edit this. So I can actually make a copy, put it in my library, and make edits to it. Regardless of whether I want to copy and edit with a pro version in my own library or use somebody else's assignment, for myself, I actually have the option to save and I've created two folders already so I'm going to go ahead and save it in my social studies folder. If I want to create a new one, I can just type the folder name and select create and now I have it in there. Unfortunately what that did was add the world map to my ELA but I don't want it in there so I'm going to X that out. When I'm ready I can always share this out, I can print, or I can go ahead and get started and assign this to my students. Going back to my library, if I were to select my social studies folder, you can see my world map is in there. But I'm going to go back to my ed forms and see all of my created ones. Now notice my world map is not in here because I did not copy it and put it in my library to edit it myself. The assignment I did find owned by somebody else, I do have that in my social studies folder where I saved it. Now in order to assign any of these assignments to anybody, I have to have some classes in here. As you can see here, it does integrate with Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams rosters, or I can create my own class, which is what I did here. I can select this create a class, name it, I can add a description if I want to, but I'm going to come back and say this is sixth grade and confirm. To invite students, I just have to click here, and what I can do is I can copy this link. I'm going to open a new window and paste that link in pretending I am a student and so I'm going to go ahead and continue with my Google account to join this class and now I've joined this class and obviously I have no assignments yet because as the teacher I have not assigned to this person. Now if your students already have an account you can easily just share this class code and ask your students to either log in or create an account, go to my classes page and click on join a new class. But I'm going to go back to my classes and I'm going to select my period one class and I'm going to go to invite students and now since I already have an account and I've joined period two I'm actually going to copy the code for period one class and here is my student account so I'm going to join a new class and paste that code in there and join class so now I'm in period one as well. As a student though, I still don't have any assignments. So let's go make an assignment. I'm gonna go to my library, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and click into my social studies folder, and I want to assign this world map. So I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna do it in a student paste mode. So I'm gonna select assign in student paste mode, and I'm going to assign it only to period one. I do have some other settings in here, but I don't want any guest students in my class. So I'm gonna go ahead and select show score after submission. I am going to select a deadline so that if this was an assignment, I would say I want this done by tomorrow. We'll pretend it's at 
10.35 a.m. that they have to have it done. I'm gonna do a time limit and I'm gonna have them do it in under 10 minutes. And I don't want them reviewing their answers and I don't want them to see the correct answers, but I am okay with them seeing their score. So I'm gonna go ahead and select confirm. And so this has been assigned. In order to have students join this lesson, I can either have them just log into their Edform accounts and go to their My Assignments or go to the class, or I could share this link with them that will take them directly to the assignment. Those are their options. Let's go back to the student account and see what this looks like. Oh look, I popped right in here and my assignments tab was already pulled up and it had the world map right in front of me and it was showing me this is from my period one class. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. I'm going to complete this. All right, I have completed this and I purposely labeled two continents incorrectly. So I'm gonna go ahead as a student to select turn in. I'm gonna say, yes, I am done. And then great, it gave me a score. So 45 out of 55 points, 82%. Back to my teacher page. And now I see that in this assignment, my student is already done and what they received, and I can actually look at their incorrect responses. Once students have completed the assignment, I can end the assignment. I have the option to export results. I can also look back at my settings and filter by name or score. So now that we know how to assign, how to look at it, what it looks like from the student's point of view, how do we create one? So let's go ahead and create an assignment from scratch. And right here you have this big blue button that says create an ed form. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now I have to decide what I wanna upload into here. So I can drag and drop a file from my laptop. I can get one from Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or create it from scratch. So I can create an entirely new ed form from scratch. So I have an absolute value math worksheet that I'm going to go ahead and drag right in here to upload. So I do have two pages here, but I don't want both of them because the second page is the answer key. So I'm going to deselect and then only select page one and then choose import. The option to select and deselect what pages that I want is awesome because you can import Google Slides and PowerPoint. And if your Google Slide or PowerPoint is 30 slides, but you only need four of the slides, you can pick and choose which ones you want to actually import for your Edform assignment. So this is a pretty simple math worksheet. What I want to do is choose a fill in the blank for a response here. But if we come over here to just look at all the different options, the first one is a fill in the blank. Before I begin to add the correct answer choices over here, let's just go through these. So we have a fill in the blank. We have a checkbox, multiple choice, drop down box, matching, math type, open ended, audio response, video response, and you can also add images, shapes, all kinds of stuff down here. As you can see, tons of options for what you want. Some of these choices are only available in the pro version. But for my math worksheet, I really just need fill in the blank and then I need to put in the correct answer. So I can just keep doing that until it's done here. I have completed this top portion with all fill in the blanks and I've entered the correct answer in here. And now I'm gonna go down to the next section. I don't want a normal fill in the blank here. I'm going to come over and use the drop down menu option. And then I'm gonna resize it to fit on the space here. And then from here, I'm gonna select the drop down and pop in my answer choices. And so my less than, greater than, an equal sign. And then over here, I'm going to select the appropriate answer for this question. And what's nice is it will actually let me even do color code if I want to, and even make a nicer border. All right, so if I click on the area with these dots, it lets me open a menu. And because I'm going to be doing the same thing over and over again for this entire section, I'm just gonna go ahead and clone it and move it to the next spot. Clone it and move it to the next spot. All right, so I completed section two. And now for the last section, I'm gonna go ahead and use a fill in the blank again. I've resized it to fit. And because I actually need to be able to have two correct answers, in each of these lines because I can't guarantee that a student's going to put the negative number and the positive number in the same place I would, even though both will be correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a negative seven there and a seven. Do you want to do my styles again? And then because that will be the same in both locations, I'm gonna go ahead and just clone it and move it over there. And now I have my third section completed. And because I like the color so much, I went ahead and went back through and added color at the top. There is a setting 
settings option up here. If I click on it, I can change the name of this worksheet. I can go ahead and assign it some things. If I have any instructions for the students, and then if I want to change the default score. So I think each one's going to be one point. Now, because I'm in the pro version, I can decide if I want it private visible only to me, or if I want to make it public where other people can find it in the discover area. I'm going to save changes. If I want to, before I save and assign, I can preview it as a student. And so this is what it will look like for my students. So I'm going to go back to editor and I'm going to go ahead and save it. All those settings that I just fixed are already there. And I'm going to do save and assign. So this time I'm going to add it to my period too. I can set a deadline and a time limit. I'm not going to this time because uh, I want it to be done in class and I want them to see their score afterwards. Go ahead and confirm. Same thing. I can send this direct link to them to go log in and go right to the assignments or I can give them the Edform login so that they can log into their account and then click on the assignment. So if I go back to my student account. I'm going to exit from that last lesson we did and as you can see I have turned in my world map but now I have a new assignment from period two and when I select it I can see and start adding my answers. Now that I've completed this as a student I'm going to go ahead and turn in, but I do just want to point out here when I gave alternative answers, I did put a negative on this side just to show that it won't matter which way your student enters this information as long as you have those alternate responses in place. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in, and then it shows me I have an 88%, 23 out of 26 points, so I know I missed three questions. I'm going to go ahead and exit from the lesson and go back as the teacher. I'm going to go to my classes, period two, go to my assignments. I'm going to select the absolute value. You, and I'm going to come in and see what my student did correctly or incorrectly. I can come down here and very quickly visually see that most of my students red marks came in the less than greater than or equal area. So I know that I need to work with that student on that. So one of the things I can do is I can actually reopen this session. I can provide feedback and I can delete this entire session out and let them go back in and retake. I hope you liked how easy Edform is to create assignments and assign. Try it out and see if you like it.